cannot go live. Try again. This is we're live. Uh, yeah, it should be live. Hey guys, good morning. Good morning. This is Dr. Benham. Uh, we're live on our Instagram channels as well as we're live on Crowdcast. Um, Here we go, guys. Now we're finally on. Oh, well, welcome. So again, it's Dr. Benham. Um, I am the chief medical officer as well as um, one of the co-founders of Happy It. And um, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions about hair loss. Um, just to start, I'm going to share my screen for a second. I'm going to give a brief introduction about Dutastride. Um, so I'm going to just share my screen to everyone while you guys are writing the questions. So uh, Dutastride is another basically formula that's very similar to Finastride. Uh, basically, or Finastride, also known as Propecia, inhibits one enzyme uh, that basically prevents what's called the DHT. Uh, all Dutastride in clinical studies have been shown to inhibit two enzymes, not just one. And the benefit of that is that in clinical studies, it's been shown to actually have better improvement, basically, in hair loss. It's different than spironolactone because spironolactone is mainly used for females. It's also a testosterone blocker, but dutasteride seems to be more effective, typically compared to finasteride. Um, we currently do have a happy at formula that has four things in one. It has dutasteride, minoxidil, retinoic acid hydrocortisone. It's a topical solution that you could apply to your scalp and uh, it does basically uh, pretty well. So that's another option that we have for our patients. If, if anyone is using a finasteride formula, you could actually switch over to the Tastride and you might probably see better results. Um, here we go, so that being said, here we go, so now we're gonna go to answer some of patients' questions. And again, for people on Instagram, you're more than welcome to write your questions right here and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, this week has been quite an interesting week with uh, with the Oscars and the slap regarding hair loss and there have been a lot of questions about that so we're going to try to address that as well. Uh, so, I just turned 60 today. Well, happy birthday! I had a successful hair transplant five years ago. Uh, I started by TRT replacement which is testosterone by 18 months ago and six months into it I started to lose hair. If I stop the testosterone treatment use happy head, will the hair transplant follicles come back? Is there any way to be on the TRT, the testosterone, and keep my hair? Um, so the problem with, with testosterone is that, uh, it, it, with TRT treatment is that it increases your testosterone level in your body, which increases your DHT, which causes more hair loss. So a lot of patients that go on testosterone therapy end up with hair loss at some point or another. Uh, look, if you need the testosterone, they need to be on it. The, the best thing to do is to really try to have that, to be at the best concentration of TRT where you're not overdoing it, but you still have some. So it's basically helping you basically keep the benefits of TRT testosterone without causing a lot of hair loss. Um, that being said, we do have a lot of patients that are testosterone therapy and are using Happy Head and they do very well. Uh, uh, and, and he also mentioned that I don't want to have ED problems. So typically oral finasteride is associated with about two to four 3% uh, sexual side effects. Um, the topical financial has been showing clinical studies that it may have lower risk of sexual side effects. And we have uh, thousands of uh, patients basically unhappy head uh, and they do well. Uh, so, uh, so the topical happy head has a lower risk and hopefully lower risk of ED problems as well. I have used the standard formulation for several months and find it they tend to adhere hairs together to the scalp slightly. Which component of happy head causes it to be sticky? I will speak slower. Um, and so the so there are multiple different ingredients in happy head. There is the finasteride, minoxidil, retinoic acid, and hydrocortisone. 
the, the, the minoxidil component could be a little bit irritating. So in order to reduce some of that irritation, the vehicle base of Happy Head is composed of aloe vera and is the aloe vera that's making it sticky. That's the vehicle base. The aloe vera actually helps a lot reduce the irritation. So, but sometimes it could make it a little bit sticky. So, is hydrocortisone non-sticky like water or slightly sticky? You mentioned aloe vera last week. So is the aloe vera that's a sticky component? Can a formulation be made without aloe vera but still include hydrocortisone? That's a great question. So yes, to answer your question, it is the aloe vera that's sticky, not the hydrocortisone. Uh, I have to check with our VP of operations whether we, we I don't, yeah. So we cannot make, uh, we cannot take the aloe vera out just because that's the vehicle. That's literally the base of the formula. So it's really not an ingredient. That's what the ve that's what the other ingredients are placed into. So we cannot take it out, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Good morning. A couple of questions. Is the retinoic acid the ingredient that's changing the texture of the hair? It seems to be roughing up the cuticle. Uh, no, well, the retinoic acid could be, but it's also the minoxidil as well. So the minoxidil along with the retinoic acid could be causing some irritation, and that's what basically roughing up the cuticle. Um, to uh, to solve that problem, uh, you could also use uh, basically like a serum, like a hair serum that you're going to apply afterwards to kind of reduce some of that irritation. You could also use a leave-in conditioner that will help you as well. Or another thing you could do, you could literally just wash off the product after an hour. You're still going to see the benefits of it, but it's less irritating. Uh, somebody asked on Instagram, can happy head be used in postmenopausal women? The answer is yes. You could use it basically in postmenopausal females. Uh, hi, Rita. Thank you so much for joining us uh, on Instagram. Um, would you ever include caffeine into the mix? We are currently uh, thinking about including caffeine. And uh, we were actually having uh, a discussion this morning with Dr. Sean, who also is another co-founder, uh, who we were possibly even thinking of adding some CBD to the product. But we're currently thinking about it, and they're in studies. Thank you so much for that recommendation. Have you found any correlation between hair loss and immune deficiency or immunoglobulin replacement? I'm 46 and also on HRT, but it seems... Hair loss has been an issue for a few years. A um, few of us ladies that are on immunoglobulin replacement. Is there any possible help for this? Uh, we've tried the over-the-counter things, plus the oil that's prescription for inflammation. So, a uh, great question. So, we, de we definitely know that the HRT will definitely cause hair loss. Uh, the immunoglobulin replacement... Uh, really doesn't cause hair loss, not as far as I know, and immune deficiency really doesn't cause hair loss. We do know that if you have if you have had COVID in the past year, or even the COVID booster or COVID vaccine, all those basically could cause and it could cause hair loss, uh, but not immune deficiency. Uh, so I still believe that the topical happy head will be very helpful for you. Um, and look, you're honestly not gonna know until you try it. Uh, what is the advantage of using the task tried versus topically versus orally? And also, what is the best way to address hair loss in the eyebrows? Great questions. So, do oral dutastride is an, is an FDA-approved drug that's used off-label for hair loss. Uh, the, in clinical studies, it's been shown to be better and more effective than finasteride. And the reason is uh, because finasteride only inhibits one enzyme in the scalp, whereas dutastride is inhibiting two enzymes. And it, in fact, it actually inhibits one of those enzymes 100 times more effectively than finasteride. So the testosterone seems to be more effective than, than finasteride. Um, we truly believe that anything you could apply topically could have potentially less lower side effects than oral. Uh, so we believe that the topical testosterone could be better beneficial than the oral testosterone, just with respect to having potentially lower risk of side effects. With respect to eyebrows, you currently cannot use the current happy head on your face, beard, or eyebrow area, but we are coming out with our eyebrow formula, thanks to Eric, our VP of operation. Uh, we are literally working on it. We're just getting the packages together, but the formula has already been formulated and made and will be ready, hopefully, to be shipped out soon. Stay tuned. 
A couple questions. What is the difference in side effects between finasteride and dutasteride? So they're relatively the same. Uh, so they're pretty much the same. Um, the only difference is that dutasteride could have a longer half-life, which means it could sit in your body for a longer period of time. So the real question is that, let's say if you had some irritation or side effects from it, could the side effects last longer? So far, in the clinical literature, based on the side effects profile and the duration of them of both finasteride and dutasteride seem to be the same. Are there any side effects of retinoic acid, especially applied topically daily? So retinoic acid is actually a great medication. Um, it's a very commonly used formula in, in the over-the-counter world and also in the prescription world. Uh, it is the number one anti-aging cream actually in the world. So there's millions of literally OTC products that have retinoic acid in it and male and females put it on their face to stimulate collagen production. I use it every day. Uh, and I've been using it for the past 20 years. So retinoic acid is very safe. At high doses, it could actually cause irritation uh, and also make you sensitive to the sun. So, but overall, there's really no uh, downside to it except for the irritation. I have an allergy to liquid minoxidil, and thus I took it out of my formula. I use a separate minoxidil foam. Should I apply the foam and top of what happens separately or, or can I mix them together? You could go ahead and mix them together, there's really no problem. You should apply probably top of what happens at first and apply the foam on top of it. Thank you for asking those questions. One more question, is the risk of the formula clogging up the hair follicle? As a person of color, I cannot wash my hair every day or two days. So if I'm washing every four to five days, I want to make sure that the repeat application is not plugging up or becoming ineffective. Great question. The formula does not plug up your hair follicle. It's actually kind of a myth that plugging up the hair follicle basically prevents hair growth. We know that patients that have dandruff uh, basically have not a great hair and that's mainly due to the inflammation, not the plugging up. So, uh, so if you, and also we don't even advise washing your hair every day. So our recommendation is to basically wash your hair every other day. Um, so the, the plugging up issue is not a real issue. Thank you for asking that question. I've been using Happy Head for six months. I've noticed small baby hairs coming back, which is great, but the progress seems slow. Would you recommend trying to test stride? Will Happy Head offer the task in the future? I would be interested in trying. Uh, great question. So, uh, look, everyone is going to respond differently, and this is why there are many different formula and options exist on the market. Uh, if you don't think the Happy Head formula is working well for you, but I mean, in your case, it, it seems that you are having some baby hairs grow out. But if you want to see better results, you could switch to the topical test right. It is currently available. Uh, it's a very similar to the topical finasteride formula. It has minoxidil, retinoic acid, and hydrocortisone in it. Just email support, and they would be more than happy. Uh, to basically just switch it out for you. We will ask our doctor and we'll switch it out. That's a great question. Thank you so much for as asking that question. Um, again, guys, if there's any questions, please always email support at help at happyhead.com. We'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions. Again, for people that are joining us on Instagram, welcome to uh, our weekly AMAs. We're currently talking about our topical happy head formula. I just turned 60 and a sexual hair transplant five years ago. I guess one of my patients missed this. Uh, this is the question regarding the testosterone, uh, topical testosterone therapy. So TRT, which is a topical testosterone, is actually very commonly used, will increase your testosterone level and will lead to hair loss. We see this every day in our clinic. Now, the key is to find a median point where you're still using the, the TRT formula and at the same time, basically, it's not high enough that's causing a lot of hair loss. Um, so, but if you need to use the TRT, uh, I would recommend using the topical happy head to counteract some of the increased testosterone that the TRT causes. Uh, then the patient asks another question. Um, is there a way to stand TRT and keep my hair without taking finasteride? Well, hopefully the top of a finasteride won't ha cause you any risk of any risk of side effects. Uh, I mean, this is one of the reasons why we made Happy Head because the oral finasteride has a risk of sexual side effects, but by going on the topical, there's just lower risk. Um, 
You could use our topical minoxidil formula with retinoic acetylcortisone, and that still helps because that's prescription grade minoxidil, and it does not have finasteride in it. Um, if you, yeah, so uh, and also the best thing is to also ask the doctor. So when you do a consultation, ask the doctor what would the best thing would be for you. For females, you could also use topical spinal lactone. So you have another option as well. Also. I wanted to share that I'm three months in and have seen significant benefit. All hair loss has stopped, has shock loss over the past one year. Thank you. I'm great to hear that. I'm very happy. Thank you so much for sharing your success stories. You know, we're here to listen to all stories, you know, patients that see good results. And also we want to hear about patients that don't see results because I am here to give you advice how to make the product better and other things that we could do. So I'm very happy. Thank you for sharing that. For women, what are your thoughts using a higher percent concentration like 8%? So, so the reason why we have the female formula at 6% um, is um, is because the in females it could cause peach fuzz. Now that being said, we do have females that use the eight percent. You just gotta make sure that you don't get it on your face. Um, really, that's the key. So just don't get it on your face. Some patients wash it off after an hour or two, which is fine as well. But you're more than more than happy to use the eight percent and basically see how it goes. You probably will see better results. In my clinic, in my office, um, on the west side in Los Angeles, we sometimes do give the 8% to my female patients, but I just try to warn them about the peach fuzz. Uh, I don't use topical TRT I inject. My levels are about 1,200. Uh, so, um, again, I'm not, you know, a TRT expert, but I think 1,200 testosterone levels are a little bit high in my personal opinion. Uh, so you should probably talk to your doctor uh, to see if you could probably adjust that level. Uh, the injection uh, could be worse. Injection testosterone could be worse than topical testosterone uh, because you're just getting more of it in your system. Um, so again, my recommendation is that you could use finasteride and it's gonna combat basically the problems that you're having with the, with the injection of testosterone. Um, does topical finasteride testosterone cause some shedding when you start using it? Typically not. I mean, it's very rare that finasteride or testosterone could cause an initial what's called sh shock loss. I've seen it, but it's very rare. Um, your most the, the shock loss is going to cause from come from the finasteride constant the finasteride in the product, not the testosterone. Um, Oh, sorry, from the minoxidil, I apologize, from the minoxidil, not the finasteride or the testosterone. So the minoxidil that's causing the initial irritation uh, as well as the initial shedding. And you can always ask us to remove that for you. Guys, I'm just going through some of the other questions. So it says, how old I am? I am 44 years old, and thank God I'll be able to maintain my hair. A couple tricks that I do, I do not shampoo every day. I wash my hair every day, but I do not shampoo. So I think it's very important basically not to shampoo. Uh, also, um, I, know I take a lot of vitamins. Vitamin D is very critical. We are coming out with our multivitamin line, which we believe it's going to be one of the best multivitamins out there. We are very proud of it. We have work, we've been working hard on it, reading a lot of clinical studies and seeing what DHT products we could add to it. Ours has a lot of uh, collagen, keratin, vitamin D, iron, and biotin in it. So, and that should be released soon. Thanks so much to our VP of operations who works very hard on it. Uh, but you know, I've really been you know for many years. You know, I take really good vitamins, um, the vitamin D, uh, and uh, I also have collagen. Again, the collagen I like is the vital proteins collagen from Whole Foods. We're not associated with it. We're not affiliated with them. I just like to recommend them. Also, you know, I like Dermar Rolling. If you are using the product and if you could Dermar Roll, that would be great. You could buy the Dermar Roll on Amazon. Dermar Roller is a roller that has about 540 spikes. You don't have to be very aggressive on it. I know on the internet, people say use a depth of 1.2, 1.5. I do not agree. I think you should just use a depth of 0 0.25. 
put apply or top of happy head on first and then basically gently roll and that's gonna help you basically quite a bit um, I found that argan oil shampoo has helped a lot um, as well as supplements like silica so so yes yeah, so, so argan oil so argan oil but thank you so much thank you so much so uh, you know so there's a lot of uh, basically argan oil products out there L look I I still yet to see a real clinical article about argan oil uh, I mean people do use it and look it's not gonna hurt you I, although I've seen some allergic reactions to it it's not gonna hurt you so as long as it doesn't hurt you I know having allergic reactions to it please use it no problem um, uh, and and by the way this is our happy head uh, thick hair thickening shampoo that we're coming out with uh, we really made the formula ourselves and we added the ingredient in there is based on a lot of clinical studies uh, again keratin uh, you know collagen uh, yeah, it, but an R and our happy formula does have argan oil in it just because a lot of uh we know we hear a lot of patients tell us that argan oil does help so we have argan oil biotin collagen keratin and saw palmetto so we're coming out with this uh it's in currently production so as soon as we get it we're going to send an email to everyone uh so you guys could try it out um what are the products you offer not listed or linked from the home page Yes, so very good question. Why heck of some of our products are not on the homepage? So the, the test stride is actually is somewhere on the website, but we are going to link it on the homepage. We have currently uh, tried to update our current webpage, so that's why they're not on it right now. Um, but if you if there's any products that you want, we'll be more than happy to send you a link. The the, the, the current products that we have that's available uh is the dutastride formulas spawn lactone and finasteride they're current they're currently all there um but we will basically i will definitely tell our website developers to make a clear area for them our shampoos and vitamins they're not there yet uh they're currently in production right now and uh our topical formula for the eyebrows and beard uh, they, we are ready to go. We're just uh, basically making the landing pages for them. So they're almost ready to go, but I will definitely list all the products on the homepage. Thank you so much for that recommendation. <clears throat> Is it okay to switch directly from finasteride to dutasteride? Do you think I will notice any negative effects in transition? People do all the time, there's really, really no negative. Uh, remember, there are two enzymes, uh, and uh, the 5 alpha reductus 1 and 2. So by just switching over, uh, you know, you just start to block the other one, uh, the second one, when you were, uh, whereas you were not blocking with the finasteride. So you don't really need to have any transition or anything, you just start using it. Please email help at happy head, and they'll be more than happy to help you with that. Okay, I'm just going to go through the, our Instagram questions here. Um, we have two Instagram pages. Um, how often do I have to use the topical, the topical medication? Happy Head, we typically recommend using it twice a day, every day. Uh, twice a day every day uh, to start out with uh, it typically takes four to six months basically for you basically to see the best results um, please repeat the difference between the differences and the benefits of finasteride versus dutasteride so um, dutasteride blocks both enzyme finasteride blocks one enzyme um, and uh, in clinical studies of comparison comparing oral dutasteride to oral finasteride, oral dutasteride was more effective than oral finasteride. So we believe that similarly, topical dutasteride could be more effective than topical finasteride. That's why we have it. Somebody asked, uh, you have hydrocodons in your formula? Yes, we do. It's a very, very low dose. Um, and uh, the reason why we have it is because to reduce some of the irritation uh, from... 
uh, basically the minoxidil in it. It's basically over-the-counter minoxidil, so it's not a lot. Sorry guys, we're just going through some of the questions that people are asking on um, on Insta. We have two Instas going on simultaneously. Yeah, so uh, thank you so much for all the interest in the Dutasteride. So we actually have had our Dutasteride formula for a while. Uh, we do have a lot of patients using it uh, and people like it quite a bit. Does the hydrocortisone not gel up the formula? It does not. Uh, it, it, the, 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 some of the, it, it, one of the reasons, uh, oh, here we go, Justin Jonas. Hi, Justin, good morning. Uh, one of the reasons why uh, people, it becomes a little sticky on the hair is because of the B vehicle. The vehicle basically has aloe. Thank you. It has aloe in it, and that's basically is making it a little bit sticky. But it's not the hydrocortisone. Now, some people don't like the hydrocortisone. You're more, more than welcome to take it out. Again, Happy is a customizable formula. We will customize it for you. Um, so, uh, so we could take it out. But you know, generally, most about eighty-five percent of all of our patients keep the hydrocortisone in it, and it just helps to reduce the irritation. And by the way, I wanted to say that we do have a refer a friend program, uh, where if you refer a friend, basically they get fifty dollars, and I think you get fifty dollars. Uh, the website is happy.com/refer. Um, and um, and yeah, please refer your friends. We really appreciate it. That's the best compliment anybody uh, anybody could get. Again, I just like to go over uh, some of the best practices if you are going to be you be using happy head please use a dermal roller along with it a dermal roller you could buy it on amazon it's just a roller 0 0.25 depth apply the product on top and then basically roll afterwards um and then uh also please take your vitamin d 2000 i use every day we also do recommend the multivitamin if you're female, please take iron. Uh, the iron is very important as well. Uh, usually we like the liquid iron from Whole Foods. We also do recommend adding collagen to your diet. We do like the vital proteins collagen from Whole Foods. You can make a smoothie out of it. And if you are a guy that goes to a gym every day and uses those whey protein isolate proteins, you know, either the protein bar or the protein shakes, but if it's an isolate, just want to let you guys know, the isolate will cause more hair loss. It will cause more hair loss. So please switch it out to concentrate. Also, other things that are bad for you, f foods that are high in MSG, um, creatine is really horrible for you. Please get off of that right away. Um, a lot of energy drinks are also bad, so don't do energy drinks. Uh, you know, so just, just things that you know you should be aware of. Hi, Doc. Uh, this is a question from Instagram. Um, can someone with a round face... Oh, <laughs> get natural. Sorry, somebody asked a question that has nothing to do with... Well, thank you so much for the question. Natural looking Tom Cruise jawline. Well, that's a question for another time. The answer is yes, you could do fillers along the jawline. But right now, today, we are focusing on happy head, our, um, our topical formula. Uh, which one would you recommend for hair loss? I would probably recommend... Um, you know, starting out with the top of finasteride. Uh, honestly, either one is basically great. You could do top of finasteride or do tasteride. You could also ask the doctor and see what he recommends. But we'll actually probably just do our standard formula, the finasteride, and see how that does. Oh, with respect to uh, some patient ask about um, ask about the alopecia areata. Um, so, um, as you guys are aware, basically, uh, 
you know, there are a lot of patients out there that have an autoimmune condition known as alopecia areata. It's different than a male pattern or female pattern of hair loss. I personally have alopecia areata actually, and my twin brother, Dr. Sean, also has it as well. We've been suffering with it for about 10 years, and I see a lot of alopecia areata patients in my office. And for that, the, the, the course of action is different. You actually want to inject it with some cortisone. The question people always ask, can happy at help? There was a study a couple years ago that actually showed that if you do topical minoxidil uh, and do a dermal roller, it could help patients with alopecia areata. Uh, so although happy at is not clinically indicated for that, but you could certainly use it as if it helps you or not. Um, another patient asked, I'm suffering from male pattern. I'm scared of minoxidil because it caused me severe shedding. How can I stop the hair loss without the hair shedding? So patients, so minoxidil could cause hair shedding, um, uh, an initial hair loss in the first six to eight weeks. It even says that in uh, the over-the-counter version. In fact, in my personal opinion, patients who actually had the hair shedding uh, initially end up with much better results. I always say, if the hair shedding continues after two, three months, stop the product. But that being said, patients reach out to me all the time, happy at patients, and say that we're still shedding, and I tell them to send me the photos, and every time I've compared the photos, I actually saw more hair growth. So although you could shed, but it also causes more hair growth. So I wouldn't necessarily make that the biggest fear factor. Yes, it could happen, it's possible. You know, it's rare, it's not very common, but it could happen. Now you could also get happy head without the monoxyl in it. Just ask us, remember again, we are a customizable formula. Ask us and we will be more than happy to move the monoxyl formula for you and you will just get the, the finesse right. Uh, again, happy head or test try topical solution. Again, you could choose either one. I would probably start with the happy head topical finasteride and see how it does. And if that doesn't work, I would then try to test try. Uh, that's just how it's been in the derm community. We always start with uh, finasteride and switch over to do test right. Uh, somebody asked, do you ship to India? Unfortunately, we do not ship right now to India. We're mainly in the US market uh, at the moment. Thank you for asking that question, though. Okay, guys, again, so... So, so if somebody asked, any plans on a discount for being... So for getting the three to six months of the product together, uh, we actually do have a three months supply and a six month supply. Uh, Eric could probably post up the link. Yes, you do get a discount. Uh, with respect to uh, with respect to the expiration date, I think our current expiration date is six months at the moment. So you could get any about six months to use the product. Um, and so again, Eric is going to pull up uh, that link for you right now. Uh, it's somewhere on our website. Um, and again, thank you so much for the recommendation. We are going to put list all of our products on the website, uh, and uh, we're going to go from there. Some of the products might not be fully available, uh, such as our shampoos, the hair thickening shampoos, and our multivitamin. But we could probably have it so you guys could purchase it. So once it comes out, we will ship it to you. Um, Again, we'd love for you guys to refer your friends. Uh, it's happier.com slash refer. You get $50 off and your friend also gets $50 off when they join. Um, Again, well, thank you so much for joining us on our weekly AMAs. Uh, we're going to be here next week, and we will be doing uh, another. Um, we're going to be doing another AMA. If there's any question in the meantime, definitely please either you could call the office or you could also email us at help at happyhead.com. Uh, please send us Instagram messages, and you could also DM us as well. Um, 
and we'll be more than happy to answer the questions. Again, I want to thank the, the staff here, uh, Eric, our VP of Operation, who works hard every week to get uh, the Crowdcast up and running. Uh, and thank for everyone for joining us, and thanks to all the other Happy Ed staff that's we're pretty much scattered all around uh, LA and also across the country uh, as well. See you guys next week. If there's any questions, please feel free to read, email, help at Happy Head, or just go ahead on our Instagram and also DM us as well. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a beautiful day.